expect a five-star hotel in a five-star town like New York City. And I fell in love with one of the most beautiful, probably the most regal hotel in all of Manhattan. 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 Chase. Type of hotel that makes you stand up straight the moment you see it. The American Express Centurion card is an elite status symbol. It is commonly known as the black card and is boasted amongst Hollywood actors and hip hop artists alike. A Centurion member has to spend at least $250,000 a year to maintain the card. Its all black metallic appearance makes the Centurion card stand out. Thanks to hip hop, of course, the black card is famous. But does the food chain stop there? Is there a card that is even more elite than the Centurion? The answer is yes, there is. It is called the Palladium card. The Palladium card was introduced in 2009 by JP Morgan to cater to their high net worth clients. Bloomberg describes the card as, quote, the card for the 1% of the 1%, end quote. This is not an overstatement. When compared to the Centurion, the Palladium card is actually much harder to qualify for. To better understand the context of why that is so, let's take a look at the Chase banking system in general. Not all Chase banks are created equal. There is the regular retail Chase you see for everyday men and women. You can call it Chase for the plebs. Then there is Chase Private Client for individuals with a net worth of 250000 or more. You can see this as a banking arm for upper middle class individuals. Then we have JP Morgan Private Bank. That's Chase Banking for the elite. The Palladium card is issued by JP Morgan. To qualify for a Palladium card, you must have a minimum of $10 million in assets at JP Morgan Private Bank. The card is invite only. This requirement is pretty straightforward, but very, very, very few people have $10 million in liquid assets. In contrast, the Centurion card requires you to spend $250,000 a year to maintain it, and many individuals can meet that requirement by putting their business expenses on the card. Hence, a person can hold a Centurion card but not be a liquid millionaire. This is quite impossible, however, with the Palladium card. Unless you are a hard multi-millionaire, you are not touching the Palladium. To further your perspective, there are approximately 104,000 black card members throughout the world. However, there are only 5,000 Palladium card holders worldwide. The numbers speak for themselves. The Palladium card is also made up of 23 karat white gold and is Palladium plated. The melt value of the card alone is above $1,000. The card weighs one ounce or 28.35 grams. That is twice the weight of the Centurion card. Despite its elite status, the Palladium card only has an annual fee of $600. The Centurion card, on the other hand, has an annual fee of $5,000 and a one-time initiation fee of $10,000. I guess old JP doesn't need your money. Since this is a location channel, one spot you can visit is the J.P. Morgan Library in New York City. This place houses a personal book collection that J.P. Morgan himself has built over his lifetime. The library was built next to his residence in Madison Avenue and is available to the public. Those of you who want to visit the Morgan Library can save this location on a Cityscape app. As of September 2016, the Palladium card was rebranded as the JP Morgan Reserve Card. Most people though still call it the Palladium card. Despite its super elite status, the card is virtually unknown, hence why it's a secret item. I once saw someone pay for their coffee with that card in San Francisco. After they left, I told the barista that this was a Palladium card. 
What's that? She asked. When I told her of the card, she immediately got upset and remarked that the man was probably crooked. How odd, I thought. When someone wears a medal of honor or seal trident, we don't see it as a slap in the face. We respect their achievement. Likewise, if you see someone with a palladium card, don't be a hater. Respect their financial accomplishments and work towards getting yours, if that's important to you. See you next time. Five star hotel, give me that five star hotel, give me that Jeffrey, I need for five.